guys, what is going on? This is JTEX here, coming at you with another episode of Amana's Protocol. A little quick episode here, hopefully we can get this done. Um, I have the internet guy, Time Warner Cable, coming out to uh, look at my internet box today. And he should be coming here shortly, so I really gotta get this episode done, like, really fast. Because I don't want him to, like, come in, like, as I record. Uh, nor do I want to try and do this until, like, he gets done. Because then it might be a while before... Um, I get this video out, and that would be just as bad as, like, um, him interrupting it, because he could be working on my internet box for, like, a couple hours or a couple minutes, like, who knows, maybe he'll have to, like, switch the entire service or, uh, equipment out, because we're having some internet issues here, um, nothing that would, like, interfere with, like, uploading and stuff like that, but he, um, he, he needs to look at some things. We're just having internet outages, uh, in my area, my dad's pretty pissed at it. Uh, because he runs, like, an online thing with friends. Uh, my dad plays video games, too. And he gets interruptions. Like, we will, like, randomly disconnect for, like... I I'm gonna say an entire minute. Like, we'll randomly disconnect from the internet for an entire minute. If you're just browsing the web, it's not a big deal. But if you're playing, like, a video game that, like, needs consistent connections, um, then, then it becomes a problem. So, uh, my dad was a little bit upset about this. So, the internet guy's gonna come look at that and see if there's any problems. Um, but, um, whilst we wait on that, I'm going to try and get an episode out for you guys, or I'm going to try and record this before he gets here, so that way I'm able to, uh, get this uploaded and, and whatnot in a reasonable amount of time. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it. What we're going to be working on today is, uh, my garden back here. I want to expand it a little bit and also work on this back here as well. I think I'm going to add maybe something up here. Let me go ahead and show you guys. I was exploring around here a little bit ago. Uh, and I found this secret cave, which is, like, super cool. And then it, it, it ends up coming down here. It's, like, super dark down here, too. So I gotta be careful. There's Maybe there's a creeper. Nope. No creeper. And there's grass down here and everything. And it's just, like, a really cool location for, like, a secret... Was that a zombie? Did you guys hear that? That's... Oh, yep, there's a zombie around here. Um, so maybe there's a cave entrance. Or maybe there's, like, a zombie spawner, which would be, like, super cool as well. Uh, but I think I might turn this into maybe a secret laboratory of some sort, like, ha, 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 ha. Um, that way I can use for other means. Uh, because I know this right here actually connects to my cave system that connects to my house. So, that's super cool. I could do this for, like, maybe a back entrance or something. Uh, this is where the water leaks in. So, yeah, like, I'm actually pretty close. If you guys do recall, this is where the water leaks, uh, through the roof, um, in my basement. So, I'm actually pretty close to that thing right there. Uh, so I really want to connect these, um, all of these together and see if I can get some sort of cool uh, structure going on. But, I mean, other than that, really nothing too much of a big deal. Uh, so we are going to be working on this over here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add in some stairs over here so that way I can get uh, a pathway, I guess. Uh, but we made 52 oak wood fences. So this way I'm able to, um, I guess, build uh, the fences. Uh, this is to keep ducks out because if you guys remember... Um, uh, I had an episode, or uh, not ducks, rabbits. Rabbits actually eat carrots. Um, that's a no-brainer, but I completely forgot about that when I was uh, building this. Uh, uh, I, I forgot what you call this when I when I was building this garden. Yeah, there it is. That that the plantation thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is like this this area, this location actually had a bunch of rabbits near it when I first started building here. So. Um, I don't know if any more will naturally spawn, like I see one over there. I don't know if they naturally spawn or they actually need, like, rabbit pop... Did I really use all 50... I swear I, I had 52 oak wood fences, so where did they all go? Um, did I really just use all those? What the fuck? Holy cow, okay. So it looks like I'm gonna need to create more. Um, I, I believe I have some oak wood around here somewhere. I don't think I used it all. That would suck if I actually used it all. Holy... Okay, so I do have a little bit more oak wood um, logs. Uh, it doesn't seem like... I really thought I was going to be able to get this thing done, like, um, today. Uh, those, that's a fence. Okay, well, I need two gates, so that's not big of a deal. And um, I'm going to do this. There we go. Uh, and that should give me a plenty... Uh, yep, it gives me plenty of uh, sticks. So, I don't think I'll be able to finish it, but I'm not too worried about that, as uh, right now I can probably just get um, my my fence completed, and then also get 
um, the area where rabbits cannot basically like get in. That's all I'm really worried about. So um, it kind of just limits their ability to get in. I don't know. Maybe like with pathing being like super weird with rabbits um, or like mobs. Like if if a rabbit was staying like standed here, um, if, if the computer doesn't detect the fence here and it just tells it, oh rabbit, go one block forward and three blocks to the right. He's gonna do this. He's gonna walk all the way around this way and come up. I guess right here, and then go over there. So I don't know if pathing's like that when it comes to mobs, AI mobs, um, because I know pathing can be like super weird. They won't walk on carpet if there's nothing underneath the carpet because mobs, um, I don't know if they updated this, someone uploaded a YouTube video a while back ago actually, uh, saying that mobs don't look at carpet as an actual block to walk on. So you can use carpet um, as long as there's like a hole underneath it uh, for means of like keeping mobs away from... Um, your door it's like it's like building a door but not technically building a door uh so that's actually super cool i guess it's it, i mean it's whatever um but yeah so far this is how it's gonna look and we will uh, replace all this right here with dirt um add gravel for the um oh hang on can they get up here i don't think they can they can probably get up here through like something over there i'll probably have to take a look at that but i'm not too worried about it uh, but we'll be using gravel for my path. Do I have any? Oh, I guess I do. I actually set up for this episode. That's that's awesome. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, just randomly break out some some pieces that we'll place down gravel in. And it will go like so. Like, like this. And um, so far, this this doesn't really look too bad. I've I tried this out in like a test world. A uh, quote-unquote test world. And it, it turned out to be a really cool looking idea. So... Uh, that was good. And the reason I'm also bringing up this cobblestone right here is because um, I really need, like, stone, like, big time. I have a project set uh, for uh, future plans in my in my house. I think I, I took this stone out. I'm not too for sure. Um, but I really need a lot of stone. And when I came over here, I was like, oh, wow, I got all this stone right here. And I can conveniently turn this into, like, some uh, fertile ground for my garden or, I guess, my plantation, my farm, whatever you want to call it. Who knows? I don't know what I'm going to name this episode, really, because I've already done, like, plantation, and, I mean, doing, this, this isn't really a farm, because, I mean, I'm getting some modern stuff, I mean, I got a, like, a laboratory <laughs> in my basement, dude, like, I can't, I can't do a farm from this, because nobody's going to associate a farm with a laboratory. Well, you know what, I could do it if I wanted to do something, like, super mysterious or whatever, like, I could possibly do that, but, I mean, it, it's whatever. So, when I saw all this, I was like, wow, I can get the stone and have stone for uh, my other needs and wants of, like, building things. And plus, I can replace it with uh, dirt to make it look more of, like, a plantation, quote-unquote, looking thing. So, turned out to be really good in my favor. Uh, I just have to clear up all this stuff, so uh, hopefully it won't take too long. G great thing I have is diamond pickaxe, so it doesn't really take that long. I, when I noticed this, I, I think I noticed this before I had the uh, diamond pickaxe, before I had diamonds. Um... So, that was something super cool. And you know what I also need to do is get an enchantment table. I've been thinking about, like, this episode, and I was like, hmm, I'm going to be probably working on um, this stone over here, because I came over here to look at this before I started this episode, and I was like, hmm, I'm probably going to need an enchantment here soon, so that way I can, like, destroy things a lot faster. Because I knew, like, digging all this up would take a little bit of time. So I was thinking about uh, getting an enchantment table here soon. So if I ever wanted to do another project like this, like mass clearing of uh, blocks and stuff, um, I wouldn't have to... Whoa! Those are three creepers like right next to each other. I don't like that one bit. Not at all. Mm -mm. So good thing I have this over here. I can... Aww, that makes me want to cry. Let me go ahead and plant a little... Plant a little seed right back down there where it goes. That's awesome. Yes. Beautiful seed. I don't know what is with these things. Maybe a, a mob came over here and, and broke it or something, but they randomly just, like, break and turn into soil, uh, which is not something I like. I would prefer it if you guys were to not break. Thank you very much. Uh, but we are going to get a little bit more dirt. Uh, we're going to go to bed first uh, because I don't want to work outside with the mobs. Nobody likes working outside with the creeping and the creepers and, and the skeletons and, and, and whatnot. They're, they're not fun. <laughs> Definitely not fun to work with. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and put this glowstone up over here and uh, toss it right there. There we go. And I'm going to need a little bit more... Um, hmm. Uh, 
Eh, it's whatever. Okay, let me just go ahead and grab the dirt. I got like a shit ton of dirt too, so that's like that's like super cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a, a, one more block of this stuff. So let me go ahead and grab one more block of dirt, and we'll put all of this stuff up in there. We're not gonna need the stone anytime soon, and I didn't want to put the wood in that chest, so I just went ahead and put the stone up and grab the wood back. I don't know oh, what are you doing there, creeper? I don't want you. I don't want you here. There we go. Good boy, you died in two hits. You're a very honorable creeper. I give you a reward, and your reward is not living in this cruel, miserable world anymore. Because that's what it is. This is a cruel, miserable world. Last time I checked, so. It's whatever. Um, so, yeah. I am apparently resorting back to my old ways, because this is what I usually do. I do something that, like, wasn't really that awesome or cool. Uh, but I really needed to get an episode out today without really focusing on, um... A lot of things because, like I said, the internet guy is coming by today, so uh, I don't want to like start on something and then him come by because I may potentially have to like cut this episode if he like knocks on the door or something, and um, and I have to like talk to him and he has to disconnect the internet and uh, and I'm over here for a while or whatnot and then I finally get back to this after like an hour of him being here. Um, I, I I may or may not have forgotten how the game works, so or uh. Not how the game. Oh, that would be like super bad. Like, uh, duh, duh, uh how does Minecraft work again? Um, I don't know. I, an internet guy came by and I completely forgot everything that happened. So, uh, and fill me in, please. Thank you very much, Senpai. <gasps> no, I need a little bit more dirt. Okay, that's very unfortunate. Um, and I used both stacks of my dirt, so that sucks even more. Um, this creeper right here seems to understand where I'm at. Whoa. Oh, well then, hello, there's a giant hole <laughs> in my ceiling. Yay, that's awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and see if I can potentially patch this up. I, I think I'm going to have to, you know what, I think I should have left that like it is. Hang on, let me go ahead and grab a little bit more dirt. Bam, like that. And um, I think we're going to patch up the top half of that, uh, but leave the lower half like it is, because I may replace it with stone of some sort. Let me check it out here. Oh, and uh, if you guys did notice, I did have, like, dark oak wood um, that was on purpose. I went ahead and uh, roamed around a little bit to look for different types of wood uh, for my house for, like, special design and stuff like that, because, like, that's what I'm about. Um, and uh, there was some dark oak wood over in that direction. There's, like, a crap ton of spruce wood over there. Uh, then we have, like, a birch wood forest, like, a giant birch wood forest just over that hill. So I have, like, access to a bunch of trees. I went ahead and destroyed some birch wood uh, trees and some oak wood trees so that way I can get myself uh, some leaves. And by destroying the trees, I kind of just knocked the leaves down. Um, I cut some wood down for oak wood or a uh, birch wood. I think I have birch wood on me somewhere. Maybe I, I already put it in my chest or something. This was all done off camera, by the way, so I don't think you guys know um, exactly what wood on. So, um you didn't miss anything if somebody's like, oh, I don't remember this episode. You probably won't since, like like I said, it was done off camera. So, yeah, it is what it is. But So, all complete. Um, but now we know right there that layer is the layer of um, the, the sun. And I'm going to need to uh, take a look into that because apparently um, I'm right next to the surface. But... That is it for that. Um, before we leave off, I'm going to want to... Do I, I don't have any andesite on me, so that's actually extremely unfortunate. Um, I'm going to need to uh, grab some andesite blocks. Uh, for next episode, we will actually be working on uh, the basement down here. I want to get this um, really cool looking now, because I'm going to be down here a lot, uh, since it is the nether portal, and I want to also get some sort of security measure down here, uh, so that way a creeper doesn't wander into the nether portal, because... It, I, I've experienced this before, maybe you've experienced this, where you go through your nether portal and there's like a creeper on the other side. Uh, but since the chunks are loading, the game is lagging for you. But the game will not lag for the creeper because he's in the coding. Um, and it will blow up before you have any type of reaction. Um, unless you have like, I guess, really a good computer because I don't see any like big YouTubers have this problem. I don't know. Maybe I just don't watch the right episode. Um, but... Apparently, you gotta load up the world super fast, and to load up the world super fast, you gotta have a good computer. I don't have a monster computer, so, I mean, I can't do that, unfortunately. So, I need a way to keep creepers out, so I'm probably gonna build something down there, so that way I can uh, do that. But anyways, guys, that will be for next episode. Tune in, because that's when we'll get back on track with building glorious evolutionary structures like this windmill and this farm because right now it's looking uh really well i i enjoy it a lot and we're able to get a good amount of stuff done 
Um, I, I know that this episode... Oh, I'm missing. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um, I needed one fence and uh, one gate, so that's awesome. Thank you, Creeper. You're such an asshole. Um, so at least I was able to get this completed, so now I can um, get past the boring stuff and work on things that matter. So um, I'm sorry that you had to deal with this, but I don't know if I want. I didn't know if I want to work on this off camera because it was a, a kind of a big deal. Like if somebody were to like um, watch an episode and then watch it back and be like, wait, wasn't this all stone or something? What happened, JTX? What did you do? You cheater! You cheater! Just like so. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with that. But anyways, guys, I was able to get through this episode without the internet guy coming along and ruining my experience, which is something that I was worried about. Uh, but I guess that's about it. I really hope you did enjoy. If so, please click that like button down below and uh, let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section below. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!